And now, coming soon to Video Cassette. And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty, boysies, how you doing? How you doing this fine, fine day? Welcome to you live from the Dusty Old Man Home Video Store. And that's right, for the first time we're digging into... Typhoon, Wrath of a Tiger. So this is a game I had years ago. I'm t I'm talking like I bought this at a G Force in town. Rest in peace, G Force. You were you're pretty cool. And I remember I think it's, I've got really vivid memories of like you know sitting at the bus stop, reading the manual back to front, and I, I remember playing the game having a good wee time. But I've not thought about this game in close to like, like, like I said, about 20, 25 years, you know? So fuck it. I thought I might as well dig into it, see if it's held up at all. And yes, that is Rory Tiger on the body pillow. Because this game doesn't have much. Like, I googled like Typhoo, and I couldn't really find anything. I didn't want to put fan art on the body pillow, that seems a bit shite. But here we go. Options, what are the options? Oh, that's a bit of tune. Fucking hell. Difficulty, normal, easy. I'll go on easy. Actually, no, we'll go normal. You can always turn it back to easy. Because I'm a little baby man who can't play video games. So here we go. Start. Let's go. I'm going to be honest. I have not much recollection of this game apart from he plays a tiger. Who knows kung fu. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. If I remember, I'm like the last of my clan of- Oh! Find him, and see that not a scrap of fur remains. Don't be so hasty. He'd make one heck of a nice rug. We're diving right in, I see. This temple is sacred. You cannot just enter and defile it at your will. Moping. I was told a tiger had been raised amongst your pointless order of cowards. <gasps> So basically, we've been, we've been raised by pandas, I think. Oh, there he is. It's Not even trying to hide. Misinformed. You are less than nothing. Well, rest in peace. That's it. Main character deed. Game over. Pathetic. That ends that. Finish up, guards. With pleasure. Later that date. Fuck now. We're just diving right into it. Ty, you must go. But what brought them here? Why should I be any more important than anyone else? Look at our poor fish. Yesterday they were plentiful and prosperous, and today, well, not so. You too are all that remains of your clan. Time can greatly alter one's prosperity. Look what time spent caring for me has brought you in the temple. All so basically a dragon came in, fucked us up, and then which you revenge, I guess? If you stay, they will be back. Visit the Tiger Temple ruins at the edge of the bamboo forest on top of the Great Hill. It is only there you will begin to find the answers you seek. All right, Brother Ping. I will do as you said. Good luck. Great, cool, big, big martial arts adventure. Let's fucking go. Kung Fu skills and training. So, all right, I've actually got a wee I'm chessy. Uh, John DiMaggio voices Big Typhoon here, the main boy, which I never would have got. Who else have we got voice actor wise? Let's have a wee gander. No. 
Kevin Michael Richardson is the boar master. The boar master, sorry, I couldn't say that right. Uh, Soon Tech O, who is like a big star in Asian American theatre, does a lot of like martial arts movies and stuff like that. Oh, he was also in Mulan. He voices the Mantis Master, which again we'll get to later on. But aye. Oh, fucking hell, someone's called Alan Open. Oh, sorry, Open Helmer, never mind, voices the Leopard Master. Anyways. So aye, this game was released in 1999. Uh, I picked it up in the pre owned section in GeForce and basically fell in love with it. So it's like a 3D beat em up. Uh, I'm trying to think. I've got stuff written down in my wee notepad in case, but we'll, we'll have a wee gander and we'll go into the, note, this, the trivia in a wee bit. I'm just getting like flashbacks here. You know, back in the day when it's like you bought a game, maybe like at birthdays or. Right, so that's the, that's the attacking. We got a grab, I think. We got a crouch. Oh, and that's a, that's a stealth animation, I see. Bring it on. Bring it on. We got a taunt. Bring it on. Cool, right, I'm still in the buttons. Press triangle to block. That's a block. Press circle to grab your enemy. Press circle again to throw your enemy. Cool, right, cool. So I'm just getting the... Oh, platforming. I love platforming and beat-em-ups. Right, here we go, here we go. If I remember this game actually has a lot of platforming. But... Oh, oh, what's up here? What's, what's the tiger meadow? Oh, it's like life's. There we go, level finished. What a hard level. I think it was like 20, 22, I think, levels in the game. But I think some of them are really short. So I, it was, it was, this game was designed by, or development was headed by the guy who designed Gex. So I thought maybe they were going for an our mascot sort of thing. And according to Wikipedia, the game engine was a newer vision of the engine which made Lost World Jurassic Park. Oh, here we go, Bamboo Forest. Let's fucking go, boys. Like as a kid, I was obsessed with martial arts movies. Like whatever I could get my hands on down a uh, down a global video, loved it. So as soon as I seen this game, I was like, "Oh, here we go." Now we'll press triangle to finish off combos. Right here we go. Here we go. We actually got to fight something. Are we snake boy? We need to actually hit a combo first. Whenever I press triangle, he just goes like that. I remember the music in this game being really good. Wonder done the music. Michael Gacci Gacciano. I can't pronounce his name. Oh fuck! He done the music for like Lost. Done the uh, done the music for Ratatouille. Eventually, oh, he fucking directed Werewolf by Night. Holy shit! Which was like the best thing that Marvel's done in, since, prob probably since uh, Endgame. But what music has he done? I'll, oh, Jesus Christ, a lot of music for a lot of video games. A lot of like Medal of Honor games. He done the music for Small Soldiers, so there we go. There's your connection. Wait, what's this? Is like invincibility or something like that, or... I'm not gonna walk there and find out. Oh, when it does the mad flashy thing, that's when I can press triangle. I see. I got you. You know, because I've been playing a lot of stuff that's a bit. I don't want to say harder. But I kind of want to just play something that's a bit more simpler, you know? Oh, fuck me, that's loud. Fuck me, Jesus Christ. You can see why, as a kid. Mikey was obsessed with us because. Wait, did I kill him? Oh, so the snake. So the spikes doesn't kill the snakes, but it kills me? I see. I got you. I got you, game. I'm on to you. I, w I want that. There we go. I wonder if I have like a. I'll turn it down a little bit because fuck me, it's loud.
So you know when you'd have a game for like, you'd only get a game at birthdays or you'd get a game very rarely? That, so this was like my game, you know? I remember uh, going to pals, oh Typhoon, that's, he's the next one, fuck your Spyro. Fuck your Crash Bandicoot, Typhoon is the next boy. Yeah, as you can see, he probably didn't catch on. Defeat two to advance? Okay, there we go. And, oh no. Oh, no, he fell off. There we go, victory advance. Yes, man. Man, the PS1 had so many sort of one-off, like one-off mascots. Like your boy fucking Blasto, who was, oh, was it Phil Hartman that voiced him? And then, on, and then when Phil Hartman died, they kind of just gave him up with Blasto. But it seems, it seems even after, like Crash and Spyro came out, they were still desperate to try and find, like a mascot or like their sort of Mario or whatever, you know. Oh God, here we go. Right, got a health upgrade there. So that's what the tiger thing is. Cool, got you. I can't remember if this game gets hard. Knowing my luck, it's gonna get fucking solid. I'm gonna get shown up, even though I finished this game as a kid. But I don't know why, I seem to like... What was it I was playing? I was playing something on stream ages ago, and it was a game I played as a kid. And I was like saying to myself, why is this game so hard? I, I think I was just better at games when I was younger. I was also I also done a another playthrough of Final Fantasy Nine. Like I tend to play through Final Fantasy Nine every now and then because it's like my favorite Final Fantasy game and actually my second favorite game ever. But fuck me, it suddenly gets solid at the end. But as a kid, I finished it easy. The same way uh, Final Fantasy Ten. Now I think about it, I've beaten fucking penance. I've beaten all the super bosses and stuff. Probably just because I had time. Right, here we go, here we go, boys. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not very good at video games, as you can see. Are they just an extra life once I get to 100? Can I jump down here? Is fall damage a thing? Supposedly not. Right, we've got a wee checkpoint. And what's... What's that? I, I imagine that blue meter is chi, I think. So I think you can use special moves with that. But... I've not really got Edna apart from... I'm just trying to hear John DiMaggio's voice in this. Defeat, defeat three for the gold coin. Right, so the spikes do a little bit of damage to them. But it's not like an instant kill. Oh, fuck. Right, onto the spikes. Did I get him? I did get him. So I'm better off just doing this then. Grab the gold coin. Yes, man. Level completed. Yes. Two down, 20 to go. So I'm probably going to be able to beat this game within maybe like two or three streams. I'm saying that. I'm going to get fucking stuck in the next level and just get fucked up, you know? We'll do it be safe. Just why not? We're already 15% through the game. Yes, man. Also, I'm kind of worried because... Yeah, this might not be the most racially sensitive game. Anyway, here we go. Bamboo Hill. I've just got such... Love for the PS1 era, like... Yes, it's, it's probably nostalgia, a lot of it. But I've just been jonesing to go back and play a shit ton of uh, PS1 games, so I might do, like... I keep saying, oh, I'm going to do a theme month. But I might just focus more on PS1 games for a while. Because it hit me that... I don't think I've ever played through the entire Spyro trilogy. Or... Uh, actually, no, I've, I've beaten the Crash trilogy. I, 
I've beaten Crash 1 and 2 on the fucking... Oh, what are you? You're a beefy snake. Because I've beaten Crash 1 and 2 on the... Oh, what is it called? The Insane Trilogy. I mean, it might be good stream part to see me fucking greet at Road to Nowhere, but... Is it called Road to Nowhere or the High Road? I don't know. You, you know what level I'm talking about. But I've never beaten Spyro 1. I've never beaten Spyro 3. But I'll tell you something. Your old dad loves them. Loves himself some uh, Gateway to Glimmer. Gateway to Gip Glimmer is fucking class. I'm getting my arse kicked already. Because I can't get a combo started on this boy. I got some health. I got some health back, and then I'm just getting Mars kicked. Holy shit! Oh no, I'm gonna die. Right there we go. I wonder why I can't get a combo going. I'm just doing that one sort of uppercut move to him. Anyway, victory advance. Let's go. Yes, man. What's over here? I don't know if this is one of the games that, like, exploration, exploration's a thing, if you get what I mean. Like, I don't know if it's, if I'm better just rushing through the levels or what, but. This music's giving me big spiral to, uh, on what level is that? You know the one with the Yeti? It's, like, very early on. There we go. Actually, did your boy? No, your boy didn't work on uh, that music. He worked on Mickey Mania. Fuck that game. Worked on Mickey Mania. Worked on uh, Gargoyles music. He worked on Maui Mallard. Maui Mallard? I've never heard of that one. I'm just going to look up what, what that game is. Oh, hey, Cashy. Oh, fuck. Michael's doing a wee raid. How you doing, Michael? How was, uh, what you call it? How was Liza P? Did you finish Liza P? Last time, because I, I taken the layout. The fuck is that? No, that is a uh, Rory a Tiger from Haven, because this game doesn't have any fucking art of it. So I was like, what's kind of tiger related? I know. The fucking Rory a Tiger for Haven. And he, does, he looks a bit nightmarish, doesn't he? Oh, Michael's redeemed something on the body pillow. Tiger Tim off Clyde 1. <laughs> right, give me two seconds, let me get... Let me kill this thing. Right, here we go, two seconds, boysies. Enjoy the music by your man fucking... What's his name? Michael Gat... Gacciano? Gacciano, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name, but I. Right, uh, what was it? Actually, I'm gonna look up just in case. Does he have a controversy section on his, uh. I'm just gonna Google Tiger Tim controversy just in case. I got Tim's body, maybe. Oh, oh, no, no. I'm not reading that. I, I, I've just Googled controversy and it's popped up that it claimed to uh, have bedded Jackie Bird. I don't know why that's like a. And I've also found the Celtic wiki. The demise of Tiger Tim. What the fuck? What is. Right, okay, we're not, we're not getting into this. We're not getting into. The fucking controversial how I know, I'm just sorry, I'm just digging deep. Well, it's because I'm like, oh, if, if I don't know someone, then Michael's put them in for the fucking the body pillow. Chances are, yeah, they're probably wrong in. Mikey, it's Tiger Tim. 
I don't know Tiger Tim. I don't listen to the radio because I'm no fucking 70 years old. Nor do I drive. Right. Remove BG. I got the lowest like quality photo as well. There we go. There's. I mean, besides the point, he's no been in the radio in fucking years. I mean that as well. You're into old people, aye, but all they put on the home is smooth radio, and I fucking want to die whenever I hear smooth radio. Right, just barter this big boy. Yes, man. What's this do? What's this power up do? Grab that extra life. But did you barter the, was it the Parade Master, whatever he was called? Parade Master EX, whatever. That's the last type thing I've seen. Because I had to go take Lily out. Smacked him. Yes, man. Then another boss. The game seems to have a lot of bosses. And now on another boss. Is it like a boss rush game, or...? Oh fuck. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Ah, you bastard, you. It's not like that spawn game that you bastard I fell down. Well, well, you're new, so I assume I'm going the right direction. Oh my god, stop blocking. Oi, right, boys, do you recognize this voice? Cause I fucking didn't. I didn't. It's fucking what's his name? Uh, John DiMaggio, which I never would have clicked. Never would have guessed. Everybody's boy. Cause I, I when I hear John DiMaggio's voice, I just hear Ben like Bender. Cause that's what I know him mostly as. And obviously done voice acting like fucking everything is where he was. Oh fuck! Right, here we go, here we go, just grab this. And lads, can I complain about voice actors being treated like shit? Because... There's a new, there's a new Transformers movie coming out next year. And Tom Kenny uh, voiced, like, Starscream. Completely done all his lines. And then when they done screenings of it, they decide to then bring in Steve Buscemi to redo all of Tom Kenny's lines. Because, you know, we need to have a big star in a movie. And voice actors aren't that, which is a load of shite. Here we go, here we go. Yes, man. It's like the thing with uh, Mario. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm sure, like... Actually, no, you could because you had, uh, oh, what's your boy? I forget, Charles Martinet voicing random Jumpman character. But, like, how do I say it? Like, movies aren't sold on actors anymore. I assure you that Waynes don't care that Chris Pratt's in the movie. You know, it's, like, it's Mario Cell in the movie, you know? But, oh, no, voice actors, can't be having voice actors, we need to have... Big stars, I, I don't want to slow the shit. Because voice actors always get treated like shit. Films are absolutely sold. I don't know if it's so much anymore. It seems to be more franchises and shit like that, you know? Like, it used to be uh, sold on, like, a movie came out and be like, this is a, like, Brad Pitt and DiCaprio are, like, the two that still do that, but you know what I mean? Like, Kids don't care, but parents have to take them to the films that... I guess, yeah, they'll go, Oh, it's your man for Marvel. I guess, yeah. Oh, God. Avoid the club and strike when Crusher is wrong. Oh, boss fight time. Right, let's go. Let's fuck up Crusher. Oh, is this... I'm guessing this is the boss fight. So do I just wait for him to- Oh, you bastard, Jay! 
You're gonna make more money off filming with Chris Pratt's name on a poster than Troy Baker's. Aye, that's Troy Baker. Right, cool, so... Oh, fuck me. Your man is Dane me in fucking hell. So the jump kick seems to be doing well. Oh my god, the flashing. I'm so sorry, boysies. Ah, Mikey's trying to kill you here. Ah, oh, fuck, he's just... Oh, I'm dead. Never used to be that way. Mind and then Disney all uh, ruined it. Oh god, oh, oh Jesus. Right, here we go, here we go, let's dive in. Right, so my do a jump kick and catch him at the side. And they ruined the relationship with World Mongols and Pro Aye. Because didn't they like Didn't they do something like he taken a lower pay for uh what you call it? For Aladdin or I'll I'll read up what happened, but yeah. It was something like, like he taking a much lower pay for Aladdin. Uh, if they wouldn't use him in promotion or, or something like that. Yeah, he wouldn't be in the market and then they lied. Aye. Oh no. Oh fuck. Yes, man. Scalp crusher. Yes, man. But he did come back for. Th oh yeah, it was Prince of Thieves, wasn't it? Because I've never seen the, the second one, but I'll tell you something, boys. Your old dad loves Prince of Thieves. Or he did when he was, you know, six and when he seen it. Didn't they get Homer to do it? Most impressive young tiger. The Crusher Python was a formidable opponent. But your skills, though rough, serve you well. Who are you? You may call me Master Typhoon. Mantis are fucking terrifying. Do you know what this place is? The abandoned tiger temple ruins. Fallen? But not abandoned. Long ago, a great battle was swaged here during the last days of the siege. Blood of Big Danny did the second film and came out. Ah, see. These very stones. And now. Oh, fuck. I know, I know his voice. Long gone. But their spirits Let's look it up. All around you. Each of us has an inner spirit. So on take oh. energy oh. fed by the world of Fuck yeah, it is he does a shit ton of like uh, martial arts movies. Yeah, he's also in Beverly Hills Ninja. That's where I know his voice. The blue bar I've added to the top of yours. He's also in Milan. Will grow he voices the Dan Milan. Summon your energy. He does all I know him from is act that big Focus. Beverly Hills Ninja. Now press L1 to fire. Immediately recognised it from Beverly Hills Ninja. Exactly, I. There is much more to learn. Listen carefully. Boss came out a two years after, so they must have just went a oh, fuck. Big Beverly Hills Ninja fans. It is a banger of a movie though. I imagine it's a very Jason movie, like a movie you rented a lot as a kid. I don't know why. I just get that vibe from it. Leopard Clan, huh? Well, they'll never guess who's coming to dinner. We had a TV recording of it, so obviously I watched it lots. I. I think I had a. I think I maybe had a TV recording of it as well. I had so many random TV recordings. I think I had that and Rush Hour on the same video. What's this? So, oh my god, my ears. Ah, that was so loud. Fucking hell. Ah. Fucking press L1 and deafen yourself. Fucking hell. Because I've got my headphones sitting over, my, my headset sitting over my good ear. And oh god. Right, is there anything else to get? I can't move the camera. So I can't really see. Oh, it's an extra life. Is there anything worth getting, or is it just the... Uh... Ah, fuck, I was head... I was head through. I've got a feeling it's just gonna be the wee, uh, the jade pickups. Yes, man, level completed. 
These lives are a lot shorter than I remember them. I've got a feeling the whole game's gonna be a lot shorter than I remember it. So why have I made Tiger Tim so long? Also, ignore that up at the side. I'm definitely playing this on a real console. Completely ignore the duck station stuff. There we go, I learned Mantis Style 1. So I basically, the whole thing about this game is going around, learning different styles, and then having a rematch with a dragon that fucked you up at the start. We're already 18% through the game. Fucking hell. Anyway, there we go. Tiger Ruins. We'll move on to Leopard Jungle. Yes, man. So I remember sitting reading uh, this manual back to front and there was a game in the back of the manual and I remember just being transfixed looking at this game. Use the chi use the chi scrolls to power up and control the elements. I remember being transfixed by this game that was on the back cover because I'd never heard of it and I hadn't seen it ever until Jason streamed it. And on the back cover, it was fucking uh, Apocalypse. I assume it was made by, yeah, it was Activision, so... Oh, fuck. It's a Cheetahman. What the fuck is that? Never soft developed it. Ah. Oh, yeah, because Activision would have published it. So it might have came out at the same time. And as a kid, I always, I always would, always wanted it because I was like, "Oh, this game looks amazing," but that's going off, you know, the back of a manual. Right, if I can just avoid the poison swamp because this is supposedly. Oh my god! Ah, right, you know what? Fuck this. Wait, what the fuck? I just. Through rocks at people. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not a good game. I kind of same as this. This is a weird game I had a weird obsession with as a kid, because you know, back in the day when you only got like two or three games a year, you kind of had to go right. This is my game. This is my my game boysies, you know. But this was designed by the guy who developed, who or the guy who came up with Gex as well. So I don't know, is Gex good? I don't know. Never played a Gex game. But I do know Gex was voiced by two different people from the US to the American, the US to the UK one. I can't remember. What one's good? Is it the, the, U, is it the US one which is dog shit? Also, all I know about Gex is watching a Kid Icarus video. I'm sure I'll get into Gex eventually down the line. When I've eventually played through like every good platformer and like, I'm like, alright boys, here we go. We're digging into Gex and fucking Hugo, let's go, you know. Ah, yep, yeah, fucking cheat him in bastard you. Yes, man. I can't scare him up beside this, I cannot. Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, oh, and the other one's off the edge there. Some fucking strutting big typhoon here. Also, I love his uh, sneaking. I look at stealthy as fuck. He just refuses to animate, which, no, he's shimming a slight bit. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, I hate these guys. They just. Okay, grab him. I just clicked, they're doing a fucking Schwarzenegger impression. Because of the big muscle bound guys. I see, I get you. I get references. Right, here we go, here we go. I mean, when I played this, I was like, maybe. I'm trying to work, I'm trying to work out how old I was when I got this. I think it was about 2000, so I would have been about 7. So Kung Fu Animals was just objectively the coolest shit ever, you know? Defeat five things to advance. There we go. I love it, it's giving me all these like cool abilities and all I'm doing is fucking just yeeting people off the edge. Oh, my cheese draining, is that maybe... Oh no, no, I mean that's the... This is an invincibility bar. 
No, no, let me pick him up. There we go. Victory, advance. Yes, man. Actually, I think I got this when I got my PS1 because what I remember what I did was I traded in. So it makes me it's me it makes me a bit sick to think about this, but I used to trade in like all my old console. Oh, I fucking died. I used to trade in my old console and all its games. You know, and then that would give me money towards getting a new game. And just thinking about the fact that I traded in a Super Nintendo and all these fucking games, including like Super Mario All Stars, fucking Donkey Kong Country and all that. And I think I got enough credit to buy one game, and I think this was it. It was either this or Final Fantasy VIII, I can't remember. Two very different experiences there. But I, we could get into trading was all day because I've, I've, I remember, I think I've told this story before. There was one time when I was about 18, 19, I want to say. I think I was 18 and I lost my, my, I think it was my iPod or my iPhone, I can't remember. I lost it on the bus and I didn't want my mum to figure it because I had just got it. And I traded in my PSP and all the games I had. And I had fucking things like... Uh, the Castlevania, what's it called? Like Castlevania, uh, you know, Dracula X. I had that, I had like Crisis Core. In fact, the only game that for, for some reason, I don't know why I kept this, or maybe I forgot about it on a day. The only game I've still got from my original PSP collection is fucking uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Which wasn't even a great... It, actually, it was an alright port now, I think about it, but... I don't know why that's the one that survived. Right, you just, just get these big fucking snakes scalped. Yes, man. Victory, advance. Oh my god, I'm getting fucked up. I might have to turn this on to easy, because fuck me. I'm getting done in. I've got an extra life though. Got to run through the checkpoint. Did I just avoid all the checkpoints in this level? I can scale up with cheat them and they bother. It's these cunts that give me some. Uh, give me bother, right? Uh, let's go. So let's go. Let's go here. Let's see what's. What awaits in here? Oh, an extra life. Right, there we go, there we go. Ah, you bastard, you got fucking jump scared by a man eating plant, right. I'm got this cunt's gonna kill me. Oh, I can't pick him up. Oh, and he's knocked me out. Oh, well. Successful combos refill the chi meter. I probably should use. Oh my god, right, I'm just gonna avoid this thing. I probably should use the big chi attacks, shouldn't I? So I can probably just avoid the like fly trap things. So I can probably avoid every enemy because it's not like it's a. Uh, Unless I get the ones where it's like, oh, beat so-and-so to advance. You can get to fuck, you big prick. That done nothing. Apart from, oh wait, no, it damaged them slightly. There we go. Right, that's a big guy down. I hate these I'm oh, getting stun locked. Fucking, no nah, man. Right, here we go. Here we go. I mean, it's holding up as... I always get scared when I play old games that I used to love because you, know, you have that chance that the game might actually be shite and thankfully it's no. It's just like a 3D beat em up, you know? I mean, I'm not... Uh, oh no! Right, grab a health, make a grab a health. There we go. Ah shit, I've not got enough chi to do anything. 
Right, just get skill point. That's one down. Half my life gone from that one enemy. Right, you can get to fuck. There we go. Oh fuck, big big boy, right. Let's just try and run away from you. Oh shit, oh no. I'm sinking. See, the problem is when I'm running away, I'm now at defeat five for gold coin. Oh shit. Right, I need to get a heal. Come on, give me a heal. Please be a heal over here. Oh, Jesus. And that big one's gonna spawn. Oh, fuck, I can't finish the combo. And that's me knocked out. Right. Oh, and I'm so far back. Right, you know what? We're cutting and strutting, but we're avoiding everyone. Shit. Shit. I'm inside a tree. How did that happen? Right, just keep just keep jumping, Mikey. Keep jumping. As you're thinking, oh, I'll cheat the game. I do need to get one of the scrolls so I can hit the big massive chi attack. Otherwise, I don't think it does much. You bastard, you, right? right? Here we go, here we go. Ah! Fucking cheat him and just destroying me. Right. Right, they don't seem to be able to follow over here. Right, get the health upgrade. Oh no! Right, there we go, there we go, right, we're back here. Oh, fuck, right. Right, here we go, defeat five for the gold coin. You know what, I'm just gonna try and grab them and throw them. Right, that kills them, cool. I have a block button, I completely forgot about that. Right, come on, just block him. No! No, make it! Fuck! Load of shit. Ah, the, right, the final one killed me. Right, we got this, boys, we got this, we got this. How many? I've got ten lives left. Ten lives, that's easy. We only panic when we get below that. Because I'm worried that it's going to end up like fucking Mickey Mania. Where the game's just like, haha, you ran out of lives, well, have fun starting from the beginning. But then I can, I can, I don't really mind starting, like, if I start from the level, like, start level, I don't mind that because it's not as if, like, you know, the damage carries over for enemies. Right, there we go, and the cheatman's got to pop out here. Oh, oh, I nearly got pushed off the edge there. Right, oh fuck, the cheatman's followed me through the... You know what, fuck this. I get to fuck you. Hey, at least the cheatman counts for one. Right, 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 just block, block, block. Right, 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 we good, we good. No, no. Don't. Yeah, bastard you. Every time. Right, you know, I, I'm feeling cursed. I, I think I'm cursed by Tiger Tim, so I'm just going to move Tiger Tim away now. Rory's back, there we go. With the power of friendship and the Tiger Club, I don't know. I, can't, I never went to the. I, like, I went to Haven, but my mum would just give me money and tell me to go to arcade and just. Yeah. So Katie could go to the, whatever it was. It wasn't a tiger club. I think it was. Because I remember they had a shit ton of other mascots. That were there. there was like Anxious the Elephant. There was a monkey. I forget his name. Was it George? And then it was... But yeah, they were basically like... 
that was our Chuck E. Cheese, but only there were people in costumes, you know? Like, every Wayne's summer holidays was at a Haven ho Holiday Park. Fuck off, Cheatman. Holy shit, can I even make it to the... There we go. Ah shit, I thought I could I thought I could get away from him. Right, right, here we go, here we go. I need to beat five of them. But he has no wake up, holy shit, he's just straight into it. Right, and no matter what I do, that headbutt knocks me down. Right, there we go. Grab a coin. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, there we go. Level completed. Oh, that was hard. This is like a baby's game for babies, and I'm sitting there going, Oh, no, it's too hard. Oh, no. I've definitely got much worse at games in my old age. Definitely. Anyway, Leopard Jungle has been scalped. Wait, did I kill 40 enemies in that level? Maybe the, the kills like carry over from checkpoints and shit like that? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, there we go. I feel even though, because I like to do the two hours, if I get over 50%, I'll, I might just call it a day so I can just finish it. Actually, no, I won't. Leopard Fortress, let's fucking go. Because I realize the last levels are probably going to be a bit harder and I'll spend more time on them, you know? You know what? I've not done a tier list in a while. I'm kind of jones into the tier list. Just to share my fucking shite opinions. Why fight what can be burned? So, set everyone on fire. Whoops. Or throw the cheatman into the fire. I thought it was a puzzle. Oh, I mean, the cheatman's walked into the fire. Right. Oh, I can get a wee, up, a wee invincibility upgrade here. And then just walk through the spikes. Yes, man. Oh, fuck. We're getting all sense fortressy here. Oh, I'm about to run out of invincibility. Wait, I thought I picked up one of the scrolls. Supposedly not. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, right, I can't go up there just yet. I thought with the way they were laid out that I could actually like, squeeze by them. Right, oh fuck, right, get his cheat him into fuck. The audio mix in this game is... I don't know if it's just because I've got up really loud, but fuck me. Hope you like grills. That's all I'm hearing. Right, that's opened up. Health. Checkpoint. Health. There we go. What is that? Is this like a master leopard or... Right, fuck, right. Achievement are fucking me up here, so... We're just gonna take another. We're just gonna be careful. We're not gonna make any sudden movements. I will pick up. Oh no! Oh no! I want to into the fire. Oh, a checkpoint. Oh, lads, I did learn something. Defeat five to advance. Ah. 
I, I, I was. Uh, oh, good news though. CD Romance is back. But uh, I was looking up on that, and Pandemonium was actually released as a different title. It was released as like Magic Jumpers or whatever. And that's another PS1 game I've never actually beaten. But I was. I've never beaten Pandemonium 1 or 2. Eh, fuck it. I, mean, I think Dan added. Was it Dan that added Pandemonium to the list? I think it was Dan or it was Mick. I can't remember. Nice to hear CD Rollins is back. Oh, it's class. It's the best place for uh, ROMs. And they do, they do like pre patched English translations, which is uh, amazing. Oh! I just got chucked off the edge there. Which, for someone who's not great at, like, learning how to patch things... Oh, never mind, the tiger, the cheatman just decided to make it easy for me. Right. Platform and my beat -em up Love it, let's go. This is looking suspicious. This is like a Fall Guys level. So I've got a feeling it's going to be... Yep. I was going to say, there's going to be guys falling, like, jumping down at me. Can't wait till there's like boulders and shit falling down when I'm trying to do that. That'll be fun. Right, uh, here we go, boys. Here we go. Right, what's up here? Oh, fuck. Fuck off, Chapman. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Right. You see, I don't want to fall off the edge, so I can't remember where the edge is, so I don't want to, like, go a bit further. But how you doing, Ross? How's your day going? So I, I realised I forgot to say that when you came in. Right. There we go, I got the health pickup. Yes, man. A wee cheek point. Right, here we go, boys, here we go. Just get... Get slapping, yes, man. So I've seen you, you said you were uh, thinking about packing it in with Bravery Default. What are you thinking about streaming next then? What's on the what's on the to-do list? Because one of my favourite and least favourite things about streaming is picking what game I'm going to stream next. Oh, fuck it, right. Can I just toss you off the edge? I cannot. Oh my god, this guy is fucking solid. Shit. Too many options can be hard to just I. I think I'm gonna finish bravely because I really like it, but I think I need to do something a bit shorter and a bit more action heavy. Yeah, that's why I, d I dug into this because I have been playing like longer games recently and things that were a bit more. Like this thing, I'm, I'm getting my arse kicked in this game. But I did want something that was a bit shorter, a bit more, you know, sort of. So I was like, ah, fuck it, might as well revisit a game that I used to love, you know? Currently, my options are Solar Ash from the Hyper Light Drifter uh, devs or Spark for Electric Jester 3. Ooh! I've seen a little bit of Spark, that's kind of like a sort of. It's a Sonic clone, isn't it? But closer to the uh, Sonic uh, Adventure games. Which I find mental that there's that there's tons of good Sonic clones, but none of them have really ever tried to do the Sonic Adventure type stuff, you know? Like there's tons of really good ones, like there's a Oh, what's it called? Forb is it Forbidden Planet? Freedom Planet, that's it. Which is a really good 2D Sonic clone. So like I said, I really like clones. Made by one guy, if I remember as well. Oh nice. I think I've got them wishlisted, I think. So I'll need to get rid of them eventually. But like I said, I, I really like clone uh, game clones, especially because like, see if you can do it like, like you said. 3D Sonic, but good. I want a thousand fucking uh, social RPGs. Everyone's rip off Persona, specifically X-Men. Please rip off Persona. Marvel, please give us an X-Men game 
which is just a social RPG. I will stop slagging your movies and your comic writing because the recent Marvel comics I've read have been abysmal. Actually, they're not, they're not bad written, it's just the choices you make that really annoy me, like killing off Kamala Khan in a Spider-Man book. Honestly, Soul Side of Things were one of the best changes made to Fire Emblem. I loved Fire Emblem Three Houses. Loved it. I keep thinking I want to stream it. Being able to hang out with pals and be missions was class. Was that not in... Oh! Cheat him in! Was that not in, like, Awakening and stuff like that? Because I thought, like, oh, if I stream... Oh, I need to get through so much. Use the Leper's Fortress against them. You know what? I can't be fucked with you. It kind of was, yeah, but never to that extent. I fucking love Three Houses. Never played Awakening, so I thought, fuck it, I might as well start with Awakening, you know, because that's like the... That was the first of the sort of... I don't want to say reboot, but, you know, that was the... The sort of return to prominence that Fire Emblem's been waiting on. And I'm actually playing through Engager now, and I'm really enjoying myself. Not quite as good as Three Houses, but still pretty good, you know? I really, I really want to play Three Houses again, but I don't know if I can bring myself to do it because I joined the, oh, what are they called? I the story was uh, bad. The story's fine, but it, it is Fire Emblem nonsense, you know? Shit, I'm getting my arse kicked here. Maybe I do need to change it then too easy. But, uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm really enjoying Engage. I'll, I keep thinking I'll, I'll do, uh, like I said, play Three Houses, but I can't join. Is it Black, was it the Black Ravens are called? The one that Eldegard runs? I, I can't not choose them. Even though there's plenty of other really good students that have really good stories, I, I can't go against them. I just can't. Final nonsense, but you mean last 10 missions go surprised it was a problem dragon all along? Aye. You're fighting this other empire, but wait, no, it was an evil dragon this whole time. Oh, Claude was class. I actually I liked all the characters, even the ones who like you had to fight again. I fight against. I felt really bad. You know, I probably should block. Maybe that's maybe that's my problem. Right, there we go, there we go, right, I need to beat one more. Wait, I thought he fell off the edge there, I was getting all excited. Shit, I just need to get that combo in. Shit. Come on, Mikey, come on. Oh, thank fuck. Right, but I've now got a slither of health, I need to get another pickup. I need to get another heal. There's a golden coin right after here. Oh, I can't believe I need this fucking gauntlet. This is... It's getting a bit mental, so it is. Is there anything at the end of here? There is not. Oh, man. And I'm sure it's up here, the... I'm just looking for any, like... Any healing stuff. Is it... Ah... Uh... Stiff breeze would knock me over right now. Anything behind here? Oh, class. Take that. But you know what? Yeah, fuck it. I'll, I think I'll do it. Uh... Oh, God. Right, right. Do you in first. Because at least I can take, if I can leave this guy till last. Oh, 
Right, right, here we go, here we go. You know what? Fuck it, man. Let's just go for the, ba uh, the baby cheatman. There we go, grab the gold coin. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was hard. Oh, Leopard Fortress was fucking solid. But I like to say, I just love the characters in Three Houses, love the whole thing about it. Oh. You know what? I'm going to stop playing that. I, I know I'm playing Engage now, but we'll, we'll play through uh, Three Houses. Oh, no, no, actually, I'll hold off and I'll just stream it. Holy shit, I killed, like, 50 guys that level. Because I'll be honest, see the first, maybe, half of the playthrough i done? I had no clue what I was doing. Also, I cannot play fucking, what's it called, uh... What's it called, uh, permadeath mode? Because I'd lose everyone within the first couple of missions. I know that's half the, th the thing with Fire Bump is the permadeath shit, but I just can't do it. I'd have no no soldiers left. Right now onto the Leopard Lookout. So I think we're just gonna be going around every single sort of clan and then just beating the fuck out of them. Maybe you get a glide from the... Is it the Crane clan, I think? That was kind of cool. Like I said, I've got very... Like, my memories are kind of fuzzy in this game. Oh! Well, it would seem I'll have to reevaluate the talent of my gods. I mean no disrespect in coming here, Leopardmaster. I've just murdered all of your clan. ...about our kind. Maybe you have not noticed, strange tiger, but we do not exactly wear the same coat. The Mantis told me I should Mantis? <laughs> Is that old peddler selling visions again? Still, he tends to not bother with just anyone. And you did claw a rather nice trench through my guard detail. Perhaps you have murdered so many people. Further, after you've been properly challenged by Lotus. Lotus? Our fiercest warrior. A leopard princess. She'll probably skin you alive. Ha! I accept your challenge. Bring her on, old man. How tough can she be? I mean, she's a princess, right? Oh, fuck, here we go. Casual sexism by Typhoon. Hey, well, Leopard Princess has got fuckers up. Mm. Oh, no. Lunch. Oh, no. Oh, nice. So, this game's pretty popular with a certain fandom, as you can probably tell. Right, here we go. Oh, it's a 2D fight. So, do I need to get behind her, maybe? Right, what's the gimmick here? I tried to jump over her, but she just fucking front drop kicked me. Right. Oh, shit. So, I think I just need to dodge her. Because she does like, a jumping attack, and she either goes low or goes high, so I think I just need to dodge that. That does. Oh, actually, I've done quite a lot of damage. I've got no health, right? I'm just going to pop along here. Hey, pal, any healing? Nothing. Come on, tiger. Right, and then just wait for her to come under a run. Right, she's about half health. Oh, I'm getting pulled towards her. Ah shit, I jumped when I was meant to like stay down. Right. Shit, shit, shit. I'm like, I'd fall her away for that. There we go, she's killed me. Right. Let's go try that again. Ah, fuck. Might as well do that right, right at the start and just get the damage out there. Oh shit, that done really good damage. Holy shit, I'm kicking the arse now. Ah oh, shit, I just need to get that last hit in. So I guess the answer is just be aggressive. 
Don't focus on dodging. Dodging's for losers. Oh no, maybe I should have dodged. I'm just hoping that I can get enough chi to do that big burst attack. Not yet. Ah, shit. Wait, that was close, that was close, right? Wait, I think about playing the Fire Emblem that's on Switch Online. Oh, nice. What one's that? Is that the one that's on? Is it on NES or? I am. I, I really don't like how Nintendo done the. Was it they resold a remake of the first, or was that re? It was a re-release of the first one, wasn't it, or something like that? And but you can only buy it a limited amount of time, which is all the shite, especially for a. An older game or a re-release. Not saying it'd be a good business practice for anything, but yeah, that was especially older shit. Especially because Fire Emblem's probably the most popular it's ever been. So did you even call Fire Emblem because it was first one released in the West and technically Fire Emblem Seven? Fucking hell! She is kicking my arse. Holy shit! Ah, ah, fuck. If I just ran forward, I wouldn't be fine there. Nintendo famously loves video game availability. And that's a prequel to Fire Emblem 6 Roy's game, which never released here. Imagine a confusion when these cunts just popped up in Smash Bros and people had no fucking clue who they were. Wait, I've got her in a... Ah, damn it, I had her in a cycle where I could just keep hitting her. Ah shit! I was fine. I was in that combo there. Come on, tiger! I must have had a lot more patience when I was a kid than what I do now, because I'm. Oh god! Nearly got her. nearly, nearly. Come on! Right, don't fuck this up, Mickey. Don't. Right, she's got to run there. There we go. Shit! Shit! Did I get her? Yes, man. Yes. Wait, that kill her? Holy shit. That's literally what happened. Folk didn't know them, but Smash Bros. made them popular enough that Nintendo decided to start releasing the games over here. I wouldn't. Like, Nintendo. Easy money. Just go like, oh, it's a Fire Emblem bundle. One, two, and three. Will today's parade of shame never cease? I haven't seen such committed because Fire Emblem's probably like the most popular it's Thank ever you, been, you know. My compliments to your daughter on her athletic prowess. She oh dear. Like the Kung Fu grip. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ. You mentioned something of a great tiger. I'm no a furry boys. No hate for furries, but I'm no a furry. There are no more of their kind. Says the one with the body pillow of a uh, Rory Tiger. Who are you, young tiger? My name is Typhoon. Trying to find information about my past. A difficult task. It's a kung fu grip, Jason. My past is well buried in this part of the world. But come, learn from us who remain. Pay attention, young Tai. I will share with you skills that have long served this clan. Kick, punch, it's all in the mind. It's called the Leopard Dash. Tapping twice in a single direction on the D-pad will help you connect with your feet. Yes, man, Tiger Flank, boys. And if you really wish to overwhelm your prey while dashing, press square three times, followed by triangle to form the leopard pounce combo. Oh dear. You may not be afraid, but I've heard you like it when Carmelita Fox gets big. I do not like it when Carmelita Fox gets big. By dashing and pressing X. I was trying to say, oh, it's a cool fight. That is all I have for you. But no, that guy finished and then left and never came back. 
see him again. At least he had a good time. His home is atop the waterfalls, deep within the cave. Wonder if he just sits and watches like slide three streams, but specifically that one, that one bit. My throat is fucked, boys. Absolutely fucked. Right, so I'm, I completely missed what he was telling me there. A dash attack, I think. The leopard dash. Tapping twice in a single direction on the D pad will help you connect with your feline instincts. Oh my god, my ears. At least drop a follow if you get not on the stream. Exactly. If you're wanking to my voice, you may as well, I might as well get a subscription out of it. If you're not watching my stream, then you owe me a fiver. Exactly. Oh my god, my ears. Right, and then jump up here, I guess. Ah, yeah, bastard, you. Oh lads, lads, we're gonna be here forever. Do the leopard leap by dashing and pressing X. Ah I love my platforming. Press square three times, followed by triangle to perform the leopard pounce combo. Right, here we go. No 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 right. No, we do the leopard leap, right. Maybe if I use the D-pad it'd be a bit easier. Oh what the fuck? What happened there? Making the money off of trending Erico? Yes, man. If anyone admits that, they're getting banned. The leopard dash. Tapping twice in a single direction on the no, uh, no, right, 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 right. Your feline instinct. If you should shut the fuck up, right. The leopard leap by dashing and pressing X. Ah, fuck. I can't believe we done a boss fight and I'm stuck on a jump. It's fucking getting flashbacks to Mario 64. Nope. Ah, you bastard, you. I was close. Wait, I swear to God. Shut up about your leopard combo. Oh, there we go, we did it. Right. Thank fuck. Woo! Hardest bit of the game there, boysies. Lads, so... <laughs> what part of your stream do you think someone's wanked to? I think it's definitely when Jason done a flawless Cry of the Banshee. I also have the answer for mine. Ross, what about you? What part of bravery default do you think someone's... Oh Jesus Christ, I can't believe I'm saying this. Anyway, Temple Bridges, let's go boozies. Oh here, oh what's up Jason? The same devs who made this made the Small Soldiers game. They did. I knew this had a Jason game written all over it. Using the Leopard style as key. Yeah, probably best not to think about a cache. Oh, a new move. My god, the music is so... Yeah, because it was the same music that done the guy's done. Because uh, the guy seems to have done nothing but Activision games, and he done Small Soldiers, and he also done Mickey Mania. Fuck that game. Fuck Mickey Mania. Some tunes, but I. Mickey Mania is some name. It's a fucking shite game, Michael. And I will not have anyone praise that game in any way. No! I'm not playing Mickey Mania again! I can get to fuck! No! I died. Well, te <laughs> technically I beat the re-release re re of it. But, yeah, I'm not playing Mickey Mania again. That game can get right to fuck. Shite fucking game. Well, it's no shite, it's just... Fuck! Right, I, I know, I know, I know. Use the leopard leap and shit like that. 
Oh, you're, you're an archer? Oh, fuck, right. How'd I get you? Yes, man. Scalp this boy. Oh my god, I'm getting Mars kicked here. Fucking hell. Jason, did the... How how was the small soldiers OST? Because I've got... Apart from you, you streaming that, I've got hardly any memory of that game. Okay, I can, I can change it. Yes, I'll add Tarzan Untamed to the list. It's fucking great. I'll play Small Soldiers on PS1 one day, Jason. Right, where am I meant to go exactly? I mean, it mostly all sounds the same. It's got returning themes going through the soundtrack. Yes, man. He plays everyone apart from... What's his name? Big fucking... It's not Gorgon, whatever his name is. There's one level it's just mental ambiance that jump scares you. Nah, Archer's Archer, that's his name. Right, oh fuck, platforming, let's go. I think it was a Game Boy version as well, unless you play what player and you can play as Chip Hazard. Oh, everyone's boy, big major Chip Hazard. For some reason, I had a lot of to of small soldiers toys. They must have been discounted or something like that at uh, at pound stretchers or some shit like that. Because I had so many of them. I had your Mohawk boy. I had uh, Chip Hazard. I had uh, Archer, and I had Ar Archer's pal who has the big fucking mole. I had him. Also, I had a book about small soldiers, and it was like all about the lore of small soldiers. Was that actually as a way really into small soldiers? Yes, man. Victory advance. Went all in on it and uh, didn't do well enough to keep it any of it going. Aye. I think they expect it to be like... It's weird though, because the movie didn't really touch on it at all. It was they just expected small soldiers to be this massive hit. So, yeah, the toys must have been really discounted because I had so many of them. Because a lot of the toys I remember having as a kid were like discounted. Not, well, not discounted, but they were were from like things I watched once and thought, oh, that's, here, that's class. Like, I had toy a shit ton of toys from. Does anyone remember Mummies Alive? I fucking loved Mummies Alive. It was like a a TMNT type thing, but instead of, you know, turtles, they were mummies. The film has really nothing but universe to catch from, but the game is legit based I had like a, a book that was all about the sort of Gorgonites versus whatever Chip Hazard's group was called, you know? Like, and this book went into the deep lore of it, it had, like, it was mental that they put this much, like, work and sort of value into the backstory of, you know, there's no Sean Johnson uh, video on this. I've never watched a Sean Son Sean Sean Sean. I can't even fucking talk. That guy. I've never watched that guy before. But I've heard good things about his videos, so I might give it a watch. Especially if there's a small soldiers one. You like his videos on obscure games? Ooh, I'll give them a watch. Can I get a combo start on these boys? These ah no, leave me alone. He does spinny wheels to pick them. Ooh. I do like my weird games. Sean's a pal, good lad. I'll give him a wee look. Right. Here we go. Tiger style, or leopard style, I'm not quite sure. Or cheetah style. Lads, am I talking shit here? Is a cheetah and a leopard kind of similar? Well, obviously it's a big cat, so they're kind of similar. Right, here we go, here we go. Ah, I thought you were deeds. Right, uh, let me just try and jump out of here, because I'm getting Mars kicked by you boozies. Oh shit, we done it. 
Leopards are bigger and heavier, can't run fast, ah, I see. And that's why the cheat are the best things to ever happen to video games. Up the cheat boys. boysies. Right, I imagine I need to find a thing that will open this. Jason's out here with his cheetah propaganda. Like, who says a leopard can't run fast? Who said, Jason? Yeah, shit. Leopards fucking claim trees and shit. Right, here we go, here we go. Right, is this the right way? Oh, I've, I've sent that the wrong direction. Lads, what's your favourite big cat? I don't know. Ah, oh, fuck this. No, no. Boys, no, take that question back. Because someone's going to go, uh -huh, Mike uses carbonator when she gets big. Fuck off, boys. I'm on to yous. Get arseholes. Defeat four for the gold coin. For what? If you give me four of the archers, this is going to be easy. Oh, no, it's you, you prick. See if I could grab them. It would be easy days, but I can't. But I keep getting stunlocked by you fuckers, right? Shit, I can't eat. Right, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, fuck, I got killed. Right, what way am I going? Not that way. Shit! Mm. I just jumped, I didn't think, even think about that there. Right, if I can just avoid you guys, that'd be class. Right, so I need to spin this again. There's nothing over there. I'm just trying to think where I am and where... Ah, you pricks! I hate you! I hate these enemies! Wait, I can pick them up and throw them! Oh, that makes everything a lot easier. There we go, right. I wasted so much health on that. Right. I think it's up, I think it's, I go up the way to turn the thing which unlocks it. But thankfully the archery ones are pretty easy to kill. There we go. Right, and then that spins it around. Right, I got that, and then... Do I jump this way? Do I jump there? Fuck it. Let's go! I need to kill four for the gold coin. If I just throw them off the edge, we're good. Oh, never mind, he just fell to his death. I probably should, I probably should just block, shouldn't I? There we go. And grab a gold coin. Yes, man. God, I'm barely making it through these levels because I'm fucking shite at video games, boysies. I don't think you've noticed. I hide it quite well. You see, I just have the the look of an MLG gamer. E.g. I just don't shower and shit like that, you know? If I talk a big game, I'll be good, you know? Don't know why I thought it was a good idea. Oh, here, boys, I'm actually heavy shite at video games. I don't know, I'll start streaming video games. That'll be class. A class idea. Right, here we go, here we go, boys.
the snakes brought their fight sticks. Oh, it's my kryptonite, boysies. Right, we'll save one more time. Make you aren't you a pro legend, but for fuck. I'm pro. I'm the best. The best at video games. Nobody can prove me wrong. I'm the best in TOS. Well, I'm the best in small font in TOS, you know? So I think what happened is Dash upstream to fight the current. I was feeding off of like the booze from the crowd, mainly because it cash you. So we're sitting there playing Tekken, and people like Jason, Proto, uh, Ross, not were there to support me, and all they done was just fucking slag me rotten. Oh fuck, lucky eels. Big Randall here from Monsters Inc. Right, let's fuck him up. Right, boys, here we go. Oh, sorry, my throat's a bit. My throat's a bit fucked, boys. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go, we got this. Tough to straight. Oh, yeah, bunch of bastards, a lot of yous. If I had the support, you should have done the fucking. I don't watch Dragon Ball because I'm not a fucking nerd, but. They should do that thing where, you know, they all give you support and energy and all that, and, you know, I don't know what it is, a spirit bomb or whatever the fuck it's called. But no, he's dead, not he? I think I called you a wrong for picking the extreme, the extreme anime girl. It was either that or the wrestler. I think Johnny was there to support Jason in the speedrun. Oh, that's because that's cause Jason's a wrong no one should support Jason, ever. And Ethan, he ever does. Oh fuck, there's tons of, tons of randos here. Holy shit, okay, the fire ability is really good. I think the stone one's the best, because the stone one's the instant kill. Here we go, here we go. And then can I just throw the Randalls into the fire? I can. Yes, man. What, lads, you're meant to get hurt from the fire. Right, I'm just gonna leave this guy because, yeah, nothing can come of this. There we go. Is that a jump I have to do, or...? Nope, I just slid down. Jason's favourite speedrun is, uh... Oh, for fuck. I don't know if I can say that. I might get in trouble if I say that. I mean, I, I have spent the last while just calling Jason a wrongian, but fucking hell. Jesus. Remember Jason getting any bookings for, off British wrestling? Make you complicit in hiding Jason's crimes. It'd fit right in with the pro gaming scene. That's where Jason goes away for a second and comes back and he's just like, what the fuck? And he gets worried because we're on to him. Allegedly. Oh, I've said a lot of things. A lot of things. We make Matt March's part or Jason jokes. Deserves it for reading that fucking joke book. 
Oh, I wanted to die uh, here and half those fucking shite ones. Yes, man, level completed. I'm the best. The best at gaming. Like, the one that comes to mind is when... I mean, I'm worse when I'm, like, with someone. Because then it's just, like, bouncing off each other. And I think the worst one was me and Kieran when we started saying on stream, the winner has to make Megan come. Yeah, that was that was probably the worst one of uh, me getting excited and too fucking too giddy with Potter. Has the game crashed? How long before I just admit the game's crashed? Uh. Oh dear. Well, this is embarrassing. Let's hope that isn't a fucking hard reset that we're going to have to do. Because otherwise that's going to be very unfortunate. Imagine the Rob just dies after that level every single time. Oh, don't say that, Mikey. You'll fucking ruin it for yourself. Like, see if it if it glitches like 15, 20 minutes into a game. That's class. I don't mind that. But it's when it glitches out an hour and a half into a stream. You know? And then it's just like a wasted stream. Right, here we go. Here we go. Managed to open more but no crash. Day. Oh, nice. What more? What one is it used? Is it a Steam version or? Right, here we go, Mantis Cave. So let's just rush through it. So I was playing uh, Oblivion on the Steam Deck, and oh, that thing struggled. Oh, it struggled. I find mental I can play like brand new games that have just came out that are really demanding and shit but the second that it's, it's trying to run like oblivion it's just like oh none of this I think I can just sprint through this level basically so I, I apologize for your for your ear holes Shit, that's the only thing is when they're in the water they can do the big AoE attack. Big one, Liber, uh, Liber? I tried to say Lion and Tiger at the same time. Yes man, big Liber sprint, let's go. Baz, what's your favourite uh, fucking big cat? Mine's a Liber. What's this do? Can I get behind this at all? I cannot. Just run by everyone. Look at that frame rate drop. Oh wait, shit, this is where I was. Right, jumped in here, grabbed that. Right, and then just get sprinting. Get a speedrun uh, tactics on the go. I've done this before. I can't, I can't move the camera, so I can't see like what direction I have to go. Right, right. Let's just let's just get this guy fucked up first. Oh, I don't know. I can destroy them. I think I just need to carry on down this way. Yeah. I kind of just jumped over here. Right, uh. Let's try and get some space between us so we can just walk through here.
Right, and just get the lion run, or... There we go, level completed. Oh, boys. I think... I think it might be fucked. Oh, you're kidding me on. Oh, it happened, boys! It happened! Yes! Yes! Thai food is Thai fucked. No, it's fucking going on. I just struggled there for some reason at that level. Yes, man. Much like the Union, Thai food is never dying. Actually, what the fuck? No, Mikey, don't say that. Fuck. I can hear, I can just feel disappointment of my parents flushing over me. Oh, boys. This is not a pro union video store, boys. I didn't say what union, but you, you know. Right, here we go. Mantis Lair. We got another boss fight, or... Defeat the statue warriors to advance. I'm just gonna check how many levels we're on. So Mantis Lair. And then afterwards is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve levels. So we're about the tenth level and oh yeah, because there's like I think there's maybe twenty-two levels in the game. But again, some of them are really short, some of them are really long. But I've been going for an hour 45, so that's no bad. We'll try and get about halfway, roughly. Because I've got a feeling this game's only going to last like two streams anyway. So let's try the... It does seem crazy short. I think it's just like usual PS1 sort of era your game, you know? Because honestly, unless you were like a big budget, like a 3D platformer, you know, like, a, like a... Like a Crash or a Spiral. Or like a big JRPG. A lot of PS1 games were really short. Oh god. Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. I know it says I need to beat him to advance, but I could probably just jump up that wee bit. I could probably just jump up there. Okay, let's just see if I can escape. I cannot. Cool. Thought we got another one. Here we go. Let's fuck him up. Wait, was that a level? Holy shit. Mantis Lair was over in like fucking... That was like six enemies. Fucking hell. You've disposed of my statue warriors nicely. And have met with your leopard cousins as I advised. I'll say, how about that princess? Not so bad, eh? Oh, Jesus Christ. Your fighting has decidedly improved. I wasn't talking about the fighting. Oh, no. John DiMaggio. He mentioned a confirmed as furry. Lao, the white tiger clan. Lao was a masterful fighter. And the honorable leader of his clan. What else can you teach me? You have already learned to vanquish your enemies with a radiating blast of your chi. Now, I will teach you how to focus that power into one volatile missile, the chi shot. Assume the proper stance. Oh, boys, we're getting the projectile. Yes, man. Right. Now focus your energy and target the enemy. Focus. Target. Got it. When's the fighting part? Typhoon. Sorry. 
Now release by tapping toward your target and hitting triangle. Hey, right, here we go. We've got Hadoukens. Yes, man. That's going to hurt somebody. You will next meet with the monkey master and his clan. The monkeys and their... Yes, man. Village. The monkey master. Let's go. go now. I fucking love monkeys, boysies. I absolutely love them. I remember I was watching, I was at Max Keeble's big move with Jason and Kieran and a monkey appeared on the screen and I was howling for a good maybe half an hour because there's a monkey on screen Wait, here we go, here we go I like all monkeys apart from chimpanzees, chimpanzees are fucking terrifying Rangtangs are the boys. Actually, I realised they're monkeys. Are, they're fucking apes. They're not monkeys. Top three monkeys. Uh, we'll go with... What are those wee... What are the wee ones that sit in the hot springs with the wee red faces? I like them. They are my number ones. Uh, what other monkeys are pretty cool? Oh, mandrills. I fucking love mandrills. Mandrills are bigger than baboons and they're fucking, they're terrifying, but they're cool. I like mandrills. Uh, and what else? But the, the wee ones with the wee red faces that sit in hot springs and mandrills and... Oh, I fucked that. You know, if I listened to the, what the man this guy was saying, I'd probably be able to like shoot out a fucking Hadouken now, but I wasn't listening. How do I do this? No, this button is it? Nah, it's not a button. Right. I don't even have a sort of a pause screen that I can check. Uh, what other monkeys do I like? Oh, the ones with the wee mustaches. I'll look up what they're called. Monkey with moustache and Emperor Tamarin. There we go. We'll go with Emperor Tamarin, uh, Mandrill, and uh, what, what's that one I'm thinking of? I'm trying. I find it. Oh fuck, what is it? I've got monkey with red face. Hot springs. A Japanese maca the macaque. Two things like that. Let's listen to this. Macaque, wait. Yeah, wait, can I hear over the game? Two seconds. Macaque. What she said. They're my favourite monkeys. Anyways. Right, so let's try... Bring it on. Right, maybe if I crouch... Nope. Nope. Uh, I'm just trying like every button combination. Bring it on. Nope, that's just the big one that does it. But anyway, I powered it up anyway. I need to power this one up as well. Ah, yeah, bastardy. Right, we're gonna be here, we wild boozies. Please tell me those uh, chi things. Uh, please tell me they, they respawn. Because this game needs to make it idiot proof. Because, boys, I'm playing it. How the fuck do I do this? 
I really should have listened. Right, I'm trying every like all the button combinations. Is it, a, is it pressing buttons at the same time? Right, so I don't think it's pressing buttons at the same time. Is it maybe holding? Ah, shit. Right, you know what? Let's go ahead down here. Are we dead? Yeah, we're dead. At least we'll rehear, we'll hear it again. Or not. Wait, do I need to redo this whole level? Right, let's try try this again. Man, I wish I listened to when the guy was giving me a tutorial. But me and my fucking ADD rattled uh, brain was just thinking like, what kind of monkey do I like? And I went, oh fucking chimpanzees, even though, you know, anyways, I'm talking shite now. Get up there, no! Right, and you get sprinting. Right, still can't figure out what to do with it. Oh god. Oh no, fuck! Ah! I fell. Right, so I just need to do the platform side now. I don't have to worry about the... Right. Nay. Cheetah jumps or whatever. Or leper jumps. Right. We're good. We're good. Right, we good. We good, boysies. Oh fuck, now I need to fat. No! Wait, it's okay, it worked. How did that work? Oh, Jesus, right. Oh, it's okay, there we go, level completed. I'll take that, I'll be happy with that. I'm just gonna look, up, look on the. Try and find if I can find out how to actually do the Hadouken. Forward and triangle. I really should have just listened, but nah. Mikey doesn't listen. Here we go, we, are, we learned Mantis 1 and Mantis 2. And Leopard as well. There's only six styles to learn. Right, here we go boys, what percentage are we on? 48, we're nearly there. We'll do... Looking at the time. Yeah, we've got time for another level. At least if it's, you know... As long. The Cavern of Spirits. So I've not had a boss in a while. Like, I know we fought, was it Crusher? And then we fought the Leopard Princess. Using Mantis style as a key. Right, there we go, that's how I do it. Cool. So there's going to be a lot of shooting, uh... Oh god, what are you? Python men, I think. Ah, you bastard, you. Right. But they're not too bad. Cool. Ah shit, I meant to try and get the mad leopard dash on him. There we go, there we go boys, right, we got this, we got this. Easy peasy. Ah, no, no. Right, and then just sidestep all these. Right, you are good, we're good. 
happy. I can just throw them into the water and that kills them straight away. Right, we're good, boys. We're good. Nothing's going terribly wrong just yet. Give it time. I've seen a fireball. Who's throwing fireballs? Oh, it's you, you cunt. Right, I'll try and not use that because I will try and keep the fireballs because I imagine there's going to be quite a few puzzles and shit like that based on them. Oh, holy shit! Okay, I, I want to try and keep that, but he just done me in. Right. What is it? It's been energised, but... Oh, I mean, it just opened that up. Right, right, right. Right, forward and triangle. There we go. Oh, fuck. So the chief... Uh, like, chief fireballs affected by whatever I've got as well. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I can like, shoot lightning and shit like that. Right. Where does this open up? Can't jump up there. Right, right. Calm down, Mikey. Calm down. Calm down. Don't. Fuck this. Oh, we did it. Master of platforming. Just like I'm the master of Tekken. And this level was really short. Defeat five for the golden coin. Right, there we go. Barred five of them. Yes! Yes! I'm the best. The best at video games. Prove me wrong. Well, actually, there's a lot of footage that can prove me wrong, but y y you know what I mean. Kavanaugh Spirits has been scalped. Holy shit. I've killed 207 things. Typhoon's in a fucking rampage. Holy shit. That's like the raid level body count. Actually, I'm going to look up. Movie with highest body count. Holy shit, Lord of the Rings of Return of the King has 600, no sorry, 836 deaths, holy shit. Kingdom of Heaven, 300, Troy, The Last Samurai, Two Towers, Grind House, and number 8, Hard Boiled, my boy. Fucking love Hard Boiled. So fucking good. Boys, watch Hard Boiled if you haven't. It's class. Right, so I've scrolled down and it says uh, movies with highest body count, and one of them is fucking. What's it called? It says. Oh, that John Wayne movie where everyone got cancelled because they filmed it on a fucking... Because they filmed it on, like, a nuclear waste bit. I don't mean that. I meant, like... You you, you get what I mean. I meant, like, m like amount of people that are killed in the movie. Anyway, Crossroads. Here we go. Right. So I've got a flashback, so I bought PlayStation Magazine, and I remember there was a walkthrough for Typhoon in it. And they made a joke about, oh, it's not a shitty sitcom, or not sitcom, it's not a shitty soap opera, it's this level, and I was like, what the fuck? So, was there a Crossroads soap? And was it any good? Was it up to Brookside standards? It was. A British soap opera ran for uh, between 1964 and 1988 and the actual revival from 2001 to 2003. Set in a fictional, mo fictional motel in the Midlands. Oh, sounds class, boys. We're all, that's it. Group watching all of Crossroads. Let's go.
I'm just looking if anyone was in it. Anyone that I, that I know. Nobody's jumping at me. So maybe it, maybe it didn't have the cultural footprint that I remember. Right, anyway, here we go, boys. Here we go. We're on the crossroads. What are we doing here? We're we looking for the monkey, boys. You can get to fuck you. Oh, wait, that's not a fuck. That's not a... Can't kill them by throwing them down there. Okay, that's my half my strategy fucked. I think my control might be a bit fucked, boysies. That's me just pressing square. I have had it a while, so it might be on its way out. Shit. Right, let's try and find our way around here, okay? Right. Let's not fuck this jump again. Yes, man, there we go. Right, platforming. I love platforming, boysies. Right, there we go, got. Right, and forward and triangle. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, no, I just made that. Who doesn't love platforming here? I love platforming in games that don't feel it are for. It's not as long as Bubsy, I suppose. You know something? I've never played Bubsy. Actually, that's why I've played Bub uh, Bubsy 1 and 2. But I've never played Bubsy 3D. And I've seen Jonathan play it. And fuck me. Oof. But I know Jason and Sean have this love for Bubsy. Because they played it when they were Wayne's. Watch it, we tag next. I'll be fine. Oh, I forgot to ask. Did anyone see Jonathan streaming uh, Brian Lara cricket? Because I, I was working, but I'm gutted I missed it because the idea is someone try to learn cricket. Because cricket is fucking tough. They made me play it a bit in high school. I don't know the rules. Nay fucking clue. Yes, I didn't. It was wild. Yes, man. We should all play sports games, but only in sports we have no clue about. Like, I, I remember at Glaze Games, but not this one that happened, the one before that. Me and Michael sat and played, like, Pro Evolution Soccer or something like that. And the match actually got thrown out because I injured. I got Too many of my players got sent off because the only button I knew was slide tackle. Jonathan tormented us with glitch sounds because they, they were tormented by cricket. I see. So big, cr big cricket fan. Oh fuck off, monkeys! I can tell these enemies are gonna be annoying as fuck. Good thing is don't have much health. Right there we go. Just fireball that monkey. There we go, there we go. Right, we got this, boys, we got this. <laughs> Fell asleep to the buzzing sounds of balls being hit. Yes, man. Victory, advance, and I've got that. I think that's stealth. Is that a big monkey? Oh, it's a big monkey. It's okay, I set a big monkey on fire. Yes, man. Where am I going now? Oh! There's a wee lift, so there's... I can see this going horribly wrong. Oh, you wee shite! Oh, see, I want to grab that, but I don't want to die. Oh, fuck, I want, I want to jump off and try and grab that. Oh no. Right, I guess just. Get no clue where I am now. Because I think I'm off the beaten path. Fuck, right. Has that monkey beaten to death? 
Is there a way back up here? Right, I think this is the way I came. Yeah, so where the big monkey was. Oh, oh I just made it. Oh, thank fuck. Right, and then there should be there was a monkey throwing shit here. Right, there we go. Right, I'm in the I'm in the zone. I know where I'm the zone. I don't know. I can't fucking talk, boysies. There we go. Scalp these monkeys. I remember an ancient flash game called Slap the Monkey. And it was like it was literally a flash game and all you did was your mouse was like a hand and there was like an inflatable monkey and you had to just hit it as hard as you could with the you know using your mouse. I don't know why that memory came back to me there. And I go murder that monkey. Slap him. It does sound like a euphemism for wanking. Like, oh, why'd you get banned from uh, Twitch, Mikey? Oh, you know, I got caught slapping the monkey. That monkey got fucking flattened. Right, uh. Well, I just jump in here. Oh, I'm in like a. Like a tree lift thing? Let's try gushing water on the monkeys. Right, there we go, there we go. Oh, big boys. Just set them on fire. I'm hoping the big ones are a bit easier than the other large enemies we've fought. Because the, the so elite cheat enemies, they were fucking solid. I really shouldn't have wasted that on these ones. Oh fuck, I'm about to get killed by little normal monkeys. Right, you know what? Wait. Wait, one fireball seems to take care of the big monkeys. There you go, another checkpoint. What we'll do after this level, we'll call it a day. So I feel we've made like we've made good progress. I feel, and we've left enough for like a hefty. I hate doing like I hate finishing my stream, and I know like my next uh, part of my stream is gonna be like twenty minutes long, you know. So at least there'll be enough other game to stream, you know. Right, here we go, boys. We just need to slap the monkey on stream. I'm just waiting for that gold coin to appear. Call of the day, I haven't even fallen asleep yet. Yeah, you're doing really well today, Kashi. Surprise, but I'm looking at the time, it's about half two for you, I imagine. Is anyone else on? I think Jason's on today. He had a nap. Ah, fair enough. Now it's only one thirty. Oh, so you're like, I don't know if I don't know if, I don't know if you're like eleven hours behind or eleven hours ahead. I think he's ahead because I remember all my Australian pals on like Facebook and stuff were going like, "Oh, Merry Christmas!" and I was like, "I'm still in work. Don't say that." We're ahead. Ah, it's us that are behind. I see. Come on, do a backflip. Do a backflip again. Right, I'll wait for us to come back up. Because I don't want to risk falling to my death. Right, here we go, here we go. We'll change to 9 then. Uh, we'll change to 10 and then 9 at this. What the fuck? Oh yeah, because... Uh, Clock's going back and shit like that. Or clock's going forward. I fucking hate when the clock's go forward because you just lose it. I remember one time I was I actually 
I worked night shift one time over the, when the clocks went back and I didn't get paid for that extra hour. And they said, oh, it's okay, you'll get paid an extra hour when the clocks go forward. And I wasn't working there by that time. The bastards, that was a shite job. I, was, I worked in a petrol station. So I had to like the night shift. So the only people that come by are like taxi drivers and shit like that. Oh, it was horrible. And I know it was just one hour pay, but you know. And I should, it was just a, like basically what happens is you get paid on. You, they just expect that you'll be working there for the next sort of daylight savings time, you know, or whatever it is, you know, when the clocks go forward. But I wasn't, so defeat five. To, oh my god, my health! My god, my health is so low. Oh fuck! I didn't mean that. I meant to just. Ah, fuck. Wish I had the, the fire one, the fire one. Fuck, I'm, I'm out. I've not had a knockout in quite a while. Right, what way am I going? Get the fuck. There we go. Just waiting for the thing to come back down. And here we go, here we go. So I don't actually need to fight any enemies up here. There we go, just wait for this to come back down, just relax. So, Cashy, if you don't mind, do you not have the arrows go to the clock going back, clock going forward? Is that just something we've invented that's just fucking shite? Because I think, I'm sure I remember reading somewhere where that was brought in to like, I think it was war, like around World War One or whatever to try and give farmers more time. Or it was something like that. We do have daylight savings, but not in Queensland, I think. Ah. I don't know if it was like just a... There's one fate that doesn't, I'm fairly sure. Oh, that's odd. I wasn't sure if it was something that just happened in the UK, you know? Right, I've nearly got this monkey. Oh no. Oh no. Right, right, and then when he comes back, when this one, the final one comes in, just blast him with this one. There we go. Wait, victory advance? It's not the gold coin. Fuck. This level's going a bit longer than I thought it was. At least give me a checkpoint. Oh! Nearly chucked me off, wee prick. Defeat seven for gold coin. Oh my god. I'm getting stun locked. Right, 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 if I can just, if I can just, oh god, just bully the wee ones. Oh, I'm gonna get killed here. I'm gonna have to do that again. Oh, no. I've not got enough to even do the... Oh, wait, I can grab, I can throw them. Ah, shit. Right, take two. Inspires appeared a couple of weeks where it's 10 hours difference. Because yours changes, uh, 10 hours does. Ah, I see. Right, there we go. That's that monkey killed. Right, and wait for us to pop back down. Man, daylight savings is such a sh- Ah. 
because I, I feel all, I'm like, oh, it's class, you know, in the winter when it goes back and again, because I don't do night shifts anymore, I just do day shifts. But I'm always fucked that one day, you know? Because I'll, I'll, like most people, I'll forget and I'll just, uh, like, I'll wake up or I'll, like, I'll be sitting in bed or sitting there getting ready for bed, sitting watching TV and then I'll look at the, my phone and go, oh, fuck, why is it, like, two o'clock? Anyways, not enough complaining about, like, the most menial things. I need to barter some monkeys. Get, you big prick, get back here. But the ground pound seems to do really well against them. Right, there we go. There we go. Victory, advance. You arsehole. There we go. So I just want to revenge for that one. Just don't let them on our side of you. That's what gets you. Oh, so the water's an instant kill as well. I forgot I can, I can grab you as can I? Right, there we go, there we go. Right, grab a gold coin, don't get hit, but don't get hit, don't get hit. No! Mikey, no! What? What? I'm stuck! Why am I stuck? Oh, thank fuck. Whew! I got hit into it. Just as I was about to die. Oh, I got scared there. So there we go. We scalped the monkeys. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that was tense. I'm all sweaty now. There we go. Monkey treetops is being fucked. It's been conquered. I've killed so many monkeys. We'll do a wee save there. And here we go. Do a wee save. There we go. And what are we doing? What are we dealing with next time? We'll just do a quick wee next time on. What level have we got next? So I beat Monkey Treetops. And next up, we'll be dealing with the Monkey Skybox. Oh dear. I can see this is going to involve a lot of fucking platforming and shit like that. But we'll worry about that next time, because in the meantime, we're going to head over to this screen. Alright boys, how you doing? So aye, let's just check, is Ellen else on the now? Chronicles on, so we'll be giving Chronicle a wee raid. But aye, thank you so much for joining us boysies for the first uh, edition, I guess, of uh, Typhoon Wrath of the Tiger. I've had a lot of fun revisiting it. It's a little bit rougher in the edges, but I'm having fun. So aye. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been Mikey. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I'll catch you in my next stream. But until then, boysies, have a good day. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Most importantly, boysies, have good mental health. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you next time. See yous!